biggest problems is I see out there today is that a lot of people think um, because it's online you can access potentially like you know the entire world like billions and billions of customers and this is true but I think like what the biggest problem about this way of thinking is that um, people kinda set the bar really low but at the end of the day you'd have to you, you're not competing with uh, with the small shop around the corner anymore you're not competing with the um, like the barbecue place around the corner you're pretty much competing uh, with the best of the best out there like when you create an app um, you're competing with uh, like the best apps out there because if you think about how many apps uh, do people use how many apps do you have on your phone maybe five or six so at the end of the day you're really competing with uh, with Facebook with Twitter um, if you're if you're a writer you're competing with some of the best writers out there if you're a blogger you're competing with some of the best bloggers out there because um, because of the internet uh, it's so easy to get access to the best of the best stuff out there right um, with just a few clicks you will know like who is the best what's really good and like creating mediocre work doesn't really work anymore and I think that's why like most of the clicks most of the traffic most of the money uh, most of the things are gravitating like most of the people are gravitating to the best offers because it's so obvious today um, to find out who is offering the best of the best and I think the biggest problem is that most people still think and assume that the readers they're gonna have the listeners they're going to have the people that are going to use their app is like a friendly audience but it's not like it's a really really terrible audience an audience that will always judge whatever you do um, and compare it to um, the best of the best out there that's why like 99% um, of the readers 99% uh, of, the, of, the, of, the, of the people that sell books um, it's, it's just like a group of five people or ten people maybe twenty people and the same with um, with platform like everybody's now reading and writing on medium everybody's is, uh, gravitating to that platform everybody's gravitating to Facebook um, everybody's using the same apps uh, everybody's using the same phones everybody's using the exact same clothing because um, people know what's good and what's not good so I think like the only way to break through this circle or cycle um, is to start judging yourself and your work um, like be pretty much be like your worst possible customer ever whenever you write something like read it from a very very critical point of view whenever you um, like uh, create an app compare yourself to the best work out there and I'm not gonna say that um, like everybody's going to be great in the beginning that's not what it's all about but it's ra it's about raising your bar uh, right from the very start and I think that will help a lot of people to create a lot better work if they're aware that the audience whatever kind of audience it is is a terrible audience um, the audience is used to the best of the best stuff and if they don't know about it yet they will gravitate towards it like uh, sooner or later and I think that's why like a good approach and what I try to do myself all the time is um, to be my worst possible customer ever so whenever I like for example I created something that I think like I'm not quite sure if I'm going to read this I just completely delete it and I think that's what it's all about about being your own worst customer ever and stop being like uh, and acting like uh, it's going to be easy that you have an easy audience in front of you um, so that's my take on this every once in a while try to, to be your worst possible customer ever See you next time.